Hi guys, I'm doing a video today on lunchbox ideas. This video is actually going to be focused on doing baking and bulk batch cooking. I've got two more or three more videos coming out in relation to lunchbox ideas. So this one was all about turning your oven on and pumping through a bunch of cakes, pastries, um, sausage rolls that you can freeze, all freezer friendly, and that can fill up your children throughout your schooling days. The first recipe I'm starting off with, I wanted to share this one because my kids got involved. And I think it's a great idea when you can get little ones involved to do cooking. This is a banana cake. I have shared this before on other YouTube videos. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bore you with the step-by-step -step instructions, but I'm going to leave below all the ingredients and the method to cooking all of these recipes for today. I just want to share this one here, one, because I think it's great for kids to get involved. It's a pretty simple recipe. They see also what goes into the recipe as well, and they have lots of fun doing it. My whole world has changed. Baby, since you... Now my kids do not go to school. They go to daycare two days a week and the other days we're out doing activities or some days we just have home morning tea and lunches. So my kids don't go to school but I still think these ideas are quite good. Um, I do like to cook the kids snacks as you'll see here individually in molds. I don't like making a large cake and then having to cut it up because to be honest I don't cut it up and it all gets eaten or it gets wasted. I find if I make it into muffin size or bite size snacks I can chill it, put it in the freezer and pull it out when we need. Same goes for these here. So I'm actually making these homemade sausage rolls. These are full of vegetables, freeze really well. And you can also pre-freeze, you can freeze them before you defrost and cook, or you can cook them and then freeze them and then thaw them and then warm them and eat them, if that makes any sense. Um, my kids really like these though, and I do make them at a really good size, again, to fit into a lunchbox, to fit into your work lunch bag for snacks. These also make like really good healthy party food as well. Very simple. My kids didn't help me this day. They were at kindy on this day, so I'm doing it myself. Very simple ingredients, and you could also substitute this quite well. The other thing I love about this recipe is the puff pastry I am using is actually dairy free. So, if you do have an allergen in your family or an intolerance, I do have some alternatives to use, and this is definitely one of them. Oh, my whole world is tainted by the colors of your touch. cooked these or just prepared them to freeze raw this is how I package them up in a container I put some paper in between them so they don't sweat out or if I freeze them they don't stick together these are really really good sausage rolls put them in the kids lunchbox a little bit of tomato sauce no sauce barbecue sauce and I guarantee they will love them and they're full of vegetables the next recipe I'm making this is probably one of the most complex recipes but I wanted to find something I'm not going to say the word healthy, but used a few different methods. So these are actually choc chip oat biscuits full of oats, which is good. It's got a low GI to them and it's a nice treat having the chocolate in them, which means my kids will eat them. They turned out really well, delicious, but there is definitely, definitely a process to getting these made. Now, when I make biscuits, I love using batters that are actually more like a cookie dough, which this one is here. So once I make the batter, I put it in the fridge to set. And then when I bring it out, I can actually like cut it into slices to cook like a cookie dough. 
that's just how I found works really well for me. I prefer it that way. You can also freeze this dough or leave it in a fridge for a few days. So I think we done half the batch today and then a few days later we done the, re the other half of the batch. We actually swapped them with my next door neighbor. They made other biscuits as well. But I will give the details below for this one here. But just keep in mind it is a much more complex recipe. I'm not normally one for having complex things in place but I'm definitely going to say these turned out really really yum and I probably would make them again for the fact that I can freeze the cookie dough or I can make the biscuits and then just freeze the biscuits as well which is super handy One thing I wish I had done before I actually put this back into the freezer or fridge is actually rolled it into more of a cookie size. So when you take it out the freezer or fridge, you just basically slice it into biscuit discs and then you can lay them on your baking tray to cook. I didn't do that. So the next time I actually cooked these, it was quite annoying having to sort of cut the cookie dough and then remold it. A bit of a time waster. Anyway, that's just a little bit of a side tip for you. Cookies turned out amazing. Even my neighbor said so. The next recipe, I think I have talked about this far too many times, but it is the Hulk pancakes. I also do unicorn ones. My son loves the Hulk, so we call them Hulk pancakes. My daughter loves unicorns, so we do uni unicorn pancakes. It is basically a pancake batter, but I whisk up the milk with loads of spinach, as you can see. Or for my daughter, I mix up the milk with like berries, strawberry ones, blueberry ones, raspberry ones, and they're colorful and they absolutely love them. And again, if this is going to be going to school for your little ones, it's full of fruit or it's full of vegetables um, with the spinach in them. You could also add like zucchini as well. I think it's just a great thing and my kids love them. I do cook mine in a non-stick pan and I get asked a lot about this pan because my kids really like it. It's actually from Aldi's. It's about four or five years old, but a lot of my lovely followers do message me and I think they bring up this pan every year. So it just goes to show that it's a really good selling pan. It's got like all these different type of happy and angry faces on them and my kids really like it so if you are looking for one keep an eye out at LD I think they bring them out every year and my kids absolutely love eating these and it makes me happy because my kids are eating vegetables throughout the day next recipe I'm actually going to be making some little like homemade apple pies I made these up and had them that night and then we took them with us the next day cold to the park and my kids ate them really tasty and the reason i want to share this recipe because it's super super simple you can make it nut free it's egg free it's dairy free so a really great option to put in the lunch boxes again i made these into little cup size portions really simple to fit into my kids lunch boxes anyway and you could also also use not tinned apples you could use fresh apples i don't know if there's a difference i'm kind of going for a bit of a convenience thing here with mine but you could also use apricots you could use tin peaches there's a range of different things i just liked having these as something a bit different like a friday treat in the lunchbox for the kids i think these would be really nice <laughs> For this one here I did use butter because we are a dairy family if you are have got intolerances to dairy or you don't have dairy in your family just miss 
putting the butter in and maybe put some oil in just to help sort of bind the dry ingredients. I liked this step here because I pretty much used all the rest of the juice that was in the bowl, so no waste. And it kind of already had the cinnamon and all the flavors going already. I sprinkled it over the top and I baked it. These actually turned out really, really yum and you can eat them warm or cold. I hope these ideas have kind of helped you to get creative with your lunch boxes if your children are getting bored with the same thing. My next video is all going to be about sort of snacks that you can basically pull straight from the fridge and put into the lunch boxes. So stay tuned for that one, guys. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.